Guys, we have silver fish and a rock fish. Yeah, my neighbor gave me. It was a pre-pack and a fillet and everything. See, guys, right here. That's gonna be yummy to put together with our long beans and some alugbati, guys. It's gonna be really yummy uh, the way I make it all the time. And we're going to put some green tomatoes with it. It's gonna be perfect, promise. Promise, promise, it's gonna be perfect. Okay, guys, so that's what we're gonna make, okay? And with green onions and onions and the other things, okay? gonna be so guys this is our rock fish okay uh, we're gonna cut them to pieces okay not uh, ground but cut it to pieces like tiny pieces to combine with our silver fish so we can make it with our beach ball and cook it there a secret way of how to make it guys just stay tuned okay Okay guys, alugbati, we're gonna cut them to pieces. See? We're gonna cut them to the pieces too. We're gonna add it here in our mixture. And we're gonna do the green beans later. So what you do is, what I do is I do like this guys. So it's not too small when you cut them. This is the alugbati. All we do is we mix it together with our stuff. So yummy guys, the flavor are just so yummy. So we're just gonna do it's like a spinach the alugbati, right? See? The smell alugbati is good. I remember this when I was young. It smell like this. So awesome. Something you cannot yeah, I thought I couldn't get here in the US, but hey, I found it in the store. I have also plant in here. I show it I show that to the next blog how I plant my alugbati indoor. Okay. I have some seedlings already growing. It was nice. This one, you can put a lot because it's going to shrink anyway. So you don't want to make it too small. Because it's going to shrink anyway. So we're just going to cut this like a spinach. This is like a Chinese spinach anyway. We call that here. But we call this alugbati back home. Okay. Let me put that, that some in here. Okay. It seems a lot, but it's going to shrink, guys. Okay, promise. So just go wild with it. Okay, all you have to do is you just really need to cut in the size you want it, it's okay. Careful you guys, don't cut your hand. Me, I'm so used to cutting, so I know how to maneuver my hand. Okay, there we go, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna do our green beans. This is this green beans is fresh from the garden. We we uh I forgot to blog when I harvest that in the garden, guys. Okay, we're gonna cut them small. 
There's a secret of how you cut them. Let me wash my hand first because it's sticky a little bit. I will wash it. So we're gonna. We have a secret of cutting the green beans, or you can cut it small, tiny. I have a cutter too, but I want to show you guys how I cut that. So that's how I'm showing that. Let me closer the camera a little bit here. Okay, there we go. I'm all summery clothes, clothes color in my clothes right now. You can get it small like that, or you can do it like a slanting. I do that sometimes too, guys. How I cut it like that, see? But I want to cut it small. I want to cut it, it's so fresh, guys. You want to cut it small, okay? You know how you secret cutting that small like that? You need to do your hand like this so you don't cut your finger, okay? Or do the old-fashioned way as long as you don't cut your finger. Okay, do big much like this. There's no size preference. You just cut. These green beans are so fresh from our garden, guys. Okay, I have more here. I already washed that. So we're just gonna cut that quick like that. This old fashioned way of cutting, guys. There's no uh, magic to it, you know? And this knife is my salad master knife. See? It's really good to cut. I mean, sometimes it's dull, but I have to sharpen it. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I don't want to put too much green beans. It's always good to have vegetable, but I usually determine how much I'm putting. I think that's it for now. We can make some satay later for green other green beans. We have more green beans here. Some are giant one. Look at that, guys. See, giant green beans. Look at the knife. The large knife It's like the size of my green beans. See? I have to show you guys my green beans area later. It's just I was tired blogging. So what we do, okay, I'm gonna show you guys right here. Now we do the tomatoes. Let me just put this together here with the other stuff. I like this cutting board. So because see, you can just fold it like that. You can fold it. It's okay, we can add them together with that later. We're gonna combine them all raw together later. So now we already washed this. I'm gonna wash my hand because I have green beans. Okay. Okay. Okay, so so we're gonna just cut off this thing. I'm just gonna do this. Okay guys. I don't know if I wanna put the whole thing. I'm gonna clean up that dark spot. It's gonna be good because this is a little bit sour. So what we do is we do it like that because we wanna cut it small. Okay, we're gonna shred it. Okay, cut. There we go, guys. <clears throat> this is also good for salad. So we're gonna do this like that. Oopsie. Okay. So crunchy this one, guys. It's so good with salt also. Sometimes I eat it with salt just by itself. I got more next week. I have to take a video next week, guys. So stay tuned on that. Okay, now we're gonna cut it. It's similar how we cut our fish, okay? And other stuff, green beans. So you need to make it small so that it, you know, the consistency of the sizes is similar. So it's okay, but you don't have to really look at it. There you go. And then we're going to add it here because we're just going to add them together later anyway. So we're just going to put that right there in the middle. So we're going to get some green onions too. See that, guys? So that's what some of our mixture. Okay, and I'll see you guys soon. And then we're gonna put two to three eggs, guys. So I'm gonna just prepare. This is an organic egg. Oopsie. Two large egg we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna go three because I have more vegetable. There. Okay. So that's egg with it. So we're gonna take other stuff. 
We do the green onion, guys. Just a simple way of cutting, similar size. We have some shallots there too. Okay, and then shallots. I like the shallots because it has a strong flavor to it. Just cut that in the middle. Doesn't matter how you cut it, no perfect way. together until we combine them all in one pot okay we also have shredded some carrots already so this is our veggie and we have some flour and cornstarch together three eggs this is garlic right here guys we're gonna cut it like that okay sorry guys okay we're gonna Cut it like this. Okay, there we go, garlic. Guys, let's put it together. This is our fish mixed with the silver fish underneath right here. See that, guys? Okay, it's going to be so yummy with the rock fish, okay? And then we have sour cream. We're going to add there a little bit, like a, a tablespoon or so. And we have also a mayo, just a tablespoon also. And some patis, fish sauce. It's already prepared here. And garlic. I just added garlic because I almost forgot. So we have the alugbati here, shallots, uh green tomatoes green beans and on green onions okay what we do is we're gonna mix in here in a big pot here guys because it doesn't fit in my small well this is a, a medium size of salad master i don't have the large one yet okay so uh we're gonna put them in here okay there we go so we're gonna put that in the bigger pot okay so we'll fit all our let me get all the fish together because we don't want to waste some fish okay so, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add our egg, three egg, okay? Seasoning of your choice. We have the salt here. We have a bouillon for a taste. And we have a lot of garlic powder and onion powder, black peppers, and some salt there, okay? So, you can choose whatever seasoning you want it, whatever the taste bud felt like. And we have the fish sauce right here. Two tablespoon. We're gonna have some mayo. Just mata mata lang yan, guys. See mayo, just to add the flavor, guys. Okay, we're gonna add just a little bit because it's a small spoon. Okay, and then we're gonna have sour cream. Just a second. Let me open the one hand. <laughs> okay, sour cream, guys. I'm just gonna squeeze a tablespoon. There, that's a sour. A little bit more tablespoon and a half I guess okay now what we do is we add our garlic minced garlic we cut them to pieces but small enough to put in our thick mixture okay then we're gonna add our veggies I'm gonna put in a my camera holder guys I can't do it by itself okay continuation we're gonna add our Beads ball, all that beads ball we have there. 
And also what's good about this dish guys, you can put it in your uh, uh, freezer, freeze, uh, you know the freeze up, you can freeze them. Then you can just preheat them when you need it. And then we have that, right? So we have the carrots. I've decided to put a little bit of carrots. Okay, maybe a uh, three tablespoon. And then the mixture of flour and we're gonna add it a little bit at a time guys, okay? Because this is what holds all together. So that's a flour and some, what do you call that? Cornstarch. We don't wanna add water. I have three eggs, but if you need more liquid, then you can add egg. Because the bitsy bowl itself and the fish already contain its natural water. So while you mix that, it come out some of their natural water. And also I have mayo in there and fish sauce. So it'll combine, I promise. I know it seems dry right now, but it will well combine later because of the fish. See that guys? And the salad master cookware is getting ready. I, I used my biggest skillet. And salad master, look at that guys, it holds on together soon. Look at that. The liquid come out by itself because the fish already got liquid and the vegetable also got natural liquid natural water i mean i'm just slowly mixing this so we don't over mix them all the ingredients is right here guys you can also add a hoisin sauce for a sweetness a little bit if you want but me i just want it the way it is you can add oyster sauce if you want bigger mix see the guys the liquid see that's why you don't want to add anything else no liquid because the fish is already you know watery because it's not it's frozen guys the fish I use I got it my neighbor gave me some because her dad is a fisherman, so every time they visit their daughter next door, they, they give me some fish from where they cut fish, like that rock fish. Oh my god, it's awesome for them. So, you can add a jinomoto if you want, but me, I don't because I put some seasoning salt there, guys. That is gonna add all that flavor and the patties. And the peppers. I add a uh, sour cream because I don't have lemon. Sour cream is sort of like substitute for my lemon. The taste of sourness a little bit, the tangy flavor. Okay, now we are ready to fry them. I think it's enough flour, so I did not put maybe three tablespoon total only because we did not put all because I think it's already, you know, gonna be tucked in together. All we need to do is really mix the flavor though. Mix, mix, mix. Look at that alubati. It's gonna add up all the yummy flavor, I promise guys. Alubati make the difference. You can do spinach if you don't have any alubati, but alubati flavor, you know that flavor. If you know alubati, that's why I put alubati because that's bring up my childhood. The flavoring to it guys. Okay, so now we're going ready to fry them. Okay, ready guys? This is the large, the extra large size of the salad master skillet. I have the large, see that I cook the egg with, this is my large size. But this one is the extra large size. So what we do is we preheat that a little bit to low. Now we're putting it to medium low. So we're gonna put an olive oil. I also have a grape seed oil if I run out. Also have some fresh from the garden guys Yana fresh latest from our garden Okay, so now we're gonna add that to our 
our seafood. Okay, let's get ready, guys. We're gonna scoop that from here. We're gonna make. See, we're gonna make it bigger this time. Huh? I scoop big this time, guys. But next, we're gonna make it smaller. Look at that little body. I'm so excited about this. I'm excited to show it to you guys because I always make this and I want to share you guys my recipe. And you can definitely do this. If you need more flour to it because it doesn't stick together, then you know, you can add. But for me, I just usually determine. But you have to really cook this so you have to put your salad master to medium. Medium low heat so it doesn't cook right away like, you know, like burn or anything like that. Salad master are usually quick because they have the same contribution. Oh my god. I can smell the fish now. <laughs> the fish sauce that I put. But we didn't put a lot, but still, fish sauce is fish sauce. So, so guys, this is how I make it. You don't want to float it, but enough olive oil I put. At least it's a little bit healthier, but oil is oil, you know that. So, it doesn't matter, oil is oil. Even if it's, a uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, olive oil. So... You just need to watch it, you know, if it's ready to be pulled to the other side, then you can. You can also help it by tuck in the other stuff that is got away. You can do this too. See? It's gonna be yummy. I cannot wait for it. The other one. Ayan, look at the color. Oh my goodness. Oopsie. Yeah. I have this salad master too. It helps. I have to flip. Ayan, guys. I keep it like that. I keep flipping even it's done because I want it a little bit crunchy. As you can see, see, like that, guys. That means crunchy. That means it's done. So I flip that maybe four to three times. I think four times. Now this is the fifth time. Because see, it's crunch. Okay, I give that crunch and it lasts long. supporting to my channel and we have some littles we can wrap up with this with the littles guys I have more littles from the garden so ayan yung cherry tomatoes natin we have the orange one and the red one okay so let's dig in that a little bit look yeah. thank you very much and happy Mail Blood TV saying goodbye 